We'll be doing a short series of gentle yoga exercises. Uh, so sit in a chair, a comfortable chair, but something that is a straight back chair. Lower back is better. Folding chair is great. And we'll just go ahead and start by sitting comfortably. Close your eyes. And let go of things that are outside of yourself. And focus on yourself. Pay attention to your body. And notice how each part of your body feels. Begin to let go of any tightness or tension you're feeling. Let your muscles soften. Let your body begin to relax while keeping your back and neck straight. Feel your body breathing. Notice each breath out and each breath in. Just feel your body as it's breathing. Feel the air flowing through your nose. And then slowly open your eyes. And let's start with a quick face massage. Just take your palms, put them at the top of the center of your forehead and smooth out to the sides. Bring your hands back to the center a little farther down, smooth out to the sides, come down between your eyebrows and smooth out to the sides, and just go down your face this way, smoothing from the center out to the sides, using the palms of your hands. When you get to your mouth, smooth across your mouth. And when you get to the bottom of your face, smooth from your chin up along your jaw. And then close your eyes for a moment and just notice how your face feels. And then let's stretch your arms all the way out to the sides. Bring them overhead, stretch them toward the ceiling. Clasp your hands, turn your palms up, stretch up, and tilt your head, and gaze up. And then release your hands and lean forward and all the way down. And let your upper body relax and hang down. Look up with your head, lift your neck up, come back up, and lean back in your chair. And let your head drop back. And then come up. And then just be sure you're sitting up straight. Let's stretch our arms forward and bend our wrists back and forth. And then do rotations with your hands in opposite directions. And change directions. And then come to a stop and let your hands come down. Make a fist, stretch your fingers out. Again, make a fist and stretch your fingers out. And one more time, fist and fingers out and then relax. And then stretch your legs forward and we'll do rotations with the feet again in opposite directions. And then change directions. And then come to a stop 
and let your legs come down and then let's work on our neck. Just turn your chin over one of your shoulders and then bring your head back across. Chin over the other shoulder. Come across over the first shoulder and back across over the other shoulder and bring your head to a normal position and we'll do neck rotations. Bring your chin to your chest and roll your head all the way around on your shoulders in as relaxed a way as you can. And when your head comes forward, change directions, going back the other way. And the next time your head comes forward, come to a stop and bring your head back to a normal position. And then let's stand up. We'll just stand comfortably, bring your arms up, stretch out to the sides, and we'll work on our shoulders by doing arm circles. Start with little circles, and just keep making those circles larger and larger until you're making them as large as you can. And then change directions and make the circles smaller and smaller even smaller and then come to a stop and let your arms come down and let's just swing our arms back and forth across. Alternate the one that goes on top each time and then let them swing up and down at your sides gradually coming to a stop. Let your arms and your shoulders relax. Let's bring our feet apart and bring your arms up. Clasp your hands together overhead, turn the palms up, and bend from side to side. And then the next time you come up, come to a stop, and just let your hands come behind your head. And we'll continue to bend from side to side with our hands in this position. And then when you come up, come to a stop and let your arms come down and twist from side to side. Just let your body twist loosely. And when you come forward again, come to a stop and let your arms come down. And then let's bring our hands to our waist. Just bend forward and rotate in a big circle all the way around. Over to the side, into a back bend, and then to the other side and forward again. And the next time you come forward, change direction. And then the next time you come forward, come to a stop and straighten up. And let's keep our feet nice and wide apart. Bring your arms up and stretch all the way up and start to alternately stretch upward as if you're trying to grab something out of reach. Begin to bend at your hips. Keep your head up. Keep your back straight as you stretch forward and eventually all the way down. And then let your whole upper body just relax and hang down. Cup your hands inside your elbows and swing your upper body from side to side. And then come to a stop and let your arms hang down again. And we'll start to swim back up, 
So alternately stretch your arms forward, look up with your head, try to straighten your back and come up with your back straight. And once you've stretched upward, come to a stop and then let your arms come down. And then we'll do a few back bends. So we'll start with our palms on our lower back, below the waist, feet just comfortably apart. Go ahead and bend all the way back and come up. And two more times, bend back and come up. And then bring your hands to your waist. Thumbs forward, fingers back, and do three more back bends with your hands at your waist, just bending from the waist up. And when you finish with those three, bring your hands up even higher, as high as you can reach comfortably, and do three more back bends, bending just your upper back, upper chest and neck. And when you're finished with those, let your arms come down. And then let's bring our feet wide apart and we'll do a side bend. Bring one of your arms up, turn the palm up, stretch all the way up, bend straight to the side. And just hold this pose and feel your body. And then come up. Let your arm come down and bring your other arm up. Turn the palm up, stretch all the way up, bend straight to the side. Keep your arm close to your head as you come up and let your arm come down. And then let's turn one foot to the side. Try to line that heel up with the middle of your other foot. And we'll do a few lunges. Just bend your knee, come back up. Go ahead a few times at your own pace. And then when you come back up, bring your arms to shoulder height. Look over your fingers and again, bend your knee. This time hold the pose. And then let's come up and let your arms come down and we'll switch to the other side. Turn your other foot to the side. Try to line the heel up with the middle of the other foot. Again, we'll start with the lunges. Just bend your knee, come up, go ahead at your own pace. And then the next time you come up, come to a stop, bring your arms to shoulder height, look over your fingers, and again, bend your knee. And as you hold the pose, just pay attention to how your body feels. Let's come back up, let your arms come down. Take a moment to relax your legs. If your chair is behind you, just watch out and don't kick it as you kick up and back a few times. And then let's do a front angle pose and a chest stretch. So feet wide apart, clasp your hands behind your back, pull the arms down, the shoulders back and gently bend all the way back. And then come up, lean from your hips, keep your head up, your back straight, just stretching forward and then eventually all the way down. And let your whole upper body relax and hang down. Look up with your head, lift your neck up, come back up. And when you're up, Pull the arms down and gently bend all the way back again. And then come up. And then we're going to move our chair, or we're going to sit on our chair again. And if you have a block or some kind of a container, uh, could be a yogurt container, empty one upside down. It could be a 
you know, a little box, could be a book or a couple books. Just put it right next to your chair at the height that's right for you. And we'll start with a side bend. Bring both arms up, bend toward whatever you're using. Rest just your palm or your fist on it. And stretch your upper arm all the way up and turn your head, look upward. Let your legs and hips relax and let your feet relax. And then bring that upper arm down over your head as much as works for your shoulder. And then let's bring that arm up and the rest of your body up. Let your arms come down. We'll switch whatever we're using to the other side. So again, just bring your arms up, bend, rest on the surface you're using. Look up towards your upper hand. And then bring that upper arm down over your head. that arm up, lift the rest of your body up and let your arms come down. And then let's do a spinal twist in the chair. So just twist in the chair, cup one hand over your leg and hold on to the side of the back of the chair with the other hand. Turn your shoulder back and turn your head and look over your shoulder. And then let's untwist and switch to the other side. So again, hold on to your leg and hold on to the side of the back of the chair. Look back over that back shoulder, feeling the twist along your spine. And then let's untwist and we'll do a twisting bend. Bring both arms up twist, bring one arm down between your legs, stretch your other arm up and turn your head, look upward. And then straighten up, untwist, twist the other way, come down, look up towards your upper hand. And then let's come back up and untwist and let your arms come down. And then we'll stretch both arms forward up, bend all the way back in your chair and let your head drop back. And then come up and lean forward and down and let your whole upper body relax and hang down. Stretch your arms forward, bring them up next to your head Come back up and again bend all the way back in your chair and let your head drop back. And then come up and let your arms come down. And then let's stand up and we'll turn our chair. So the chair is facing you. We'll put one foot underneath the chair, line that heel up with the middle of your other foot. Bring your arms up to shoulder height, bend and rest your palm or your fist on your chair seat and look up towards your upper hand. And again, bring that upper arm down over your head. And then lift that arm up, the rest of your body up. Let your arms come down. Turn and put your other foot under the chair seat. And again, when you're ready, bring both arms up, bend, stretch the upper arm up, turn your head, look up. Bring that upper arm down over your head. And then lift that arm up and the rest of your body up and let your arms come down. And then let's turn toward our chair seat and step your feet wide apart. We'll do a twisting bend. So both arms up, twist, bend, 
Again, stretch your upper arm up, turn your head, look toward that hand. And then come back up and untwist and twist the other way. Again, look up towards your upper hand. And then come back up, untwist, let your arms come down. And let's turn our chair so the back of the chair is facing us. We'll start with just a little balance work. Come up and down a few times on the balls of your feet. And then start to come up and down as slowly and as smoothly as you can. Next time you come down, come to a stop, lift your arms to shoulder height, come up and balance on the balls of your feet, and then bring your arms overhead and stretch toward the ceiling. First let your arms come down, then let your legs come down. And then let's use the back of our chair, we'll turn and face the back of the chair. Stand right next to your chair, hold on to the back, and just gently bend all the way back. And then come up, step one foot way back, press that heel down into the mat or your floor, and bend your front knee. And then switch legs. Again, press the back heel down, bend the front knee. And then come back up. Keep holding on to the back of your chair and walk backwards. Keep your feet together. Let your back sink down. Let your head drop down while still holding on to the back of the chair. And let everything relax in this position. And then release your hands and let your whole upper body just relax and hang down while keeping your legs and knees straight. And then let your back and neck stay bent as you gently uncurl back up. And then once you're up, you can sit in the chair again or if you have a nearby couch that's comfortable or a more comfortable chair, uh, to sit in for the relaxation, go ahead and find a spot that is most comfortable for you. And we'll just start by sitting, or you can even lie on a couch. We'll just sit comfortably and close your eyes. Let your whole body begin to relax, softening the muscles, soften your face, your head, soften your neck and throat, soften your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your fingers, soften your chest and your upper back. Soften the area around your waist, your lower back, your hips, your abdomen. Soften your upper legs and lower legs. Soften your feet and your toes. Keep softening all the muscles 
and feel your body softening and relaxing even more. And soften your toes and feet, your lower and your upper legs. Soften your lower back, your hips, your abdomen. Soften the whole area around your waist, the middle of your back your upper back, your chest, your shoulders. Soften your arms and your hands. Soften your fingers. Soften your neck and throat, your jaw, your mouth, your cheeks, and your nose. Soften your eyes and eyebrows and soften your forehead. your whole body becoming softer and heavier. And feel the floor or the chair that you're on. Feel the air around your body. And when you feel ready, you can bring your hands up, put them over your eyes, and then watch your hands as you bring them away from your face. You can stretch if you want to. And then thank you and namaste 